Hello from the National Weather Service in Pocatello. This is the Southeast Idaho Weather Hazard Briefing for Monday, May 6th. I'm going to take a look at the satellite loop this morning. Uh, there is a low that's situated just off the California coast, kind of uh, circulating just uh, just off the uh, central California coast there. Another low just uh, further off to the west, and that's uh, helping feed some moisture into this other low in California. So we're going to see uh, potential for some of that uh, moisture to make its way around that low and further up into uh, Utah and Nevada, possibly up into uh, southern Idaho later on today. Uh, a couple other uh, is, uh, a couple other things going on in the radar here. There is a weak disturbance uh, just off of the Washington coast there. That's kind of drifting down towards the southeast. And another disturbance up here. Uh, in southeastern Alaska. So that's going to interact with this upper low here. We're going to probably see some showers from thunderstorms throughout the day today and probably the next couple of days. So uh, uh, we'll uh, go ahead and take a look at uh, what's going on with the radar uh, as of this morning. Uh, just a few showers developing along the Utah Idaho line, uh, Nevada, just right down there, maybe along, around Jackpot. Might be seeing a few showers this morning. Otherwise, looking pretty quiet. Uh, we'll probably will see some more development later on in the afternoon and into the evening. Uh, currently on the weather map, we are seeing uh, just a weak front that looks like it's draped across uh, uh, southeast Idaho here. So the forecast uh, for today, again, is going to be some showers and possible thunderstorms. Um, that front might serve as a focal point for some of the heavier showers. Uh, but uh, not expecting too much uh, in the way of severe weather today. Uh, and as we move ahead, we're going to take a look at a forecast uh, radar imagery for this afternoon. And this is a, what a model is depicting uh, for about 4 p.m. today. You can see some, uh, definitely see some showers uh, in the forecast uh, right along, uh, you know, between Island Park out to Spencer and uh, extending uh, into the uh, Central Mountains there. And the models are also kind of keeping some of this area down in the uh, southern part in the southeastern highlands uh, fairly active. Uh, potential for some uh, thunder down there as well. Uh, forecast uh, for any severe weather, any severe weather risk is uh, very minimal today. Uh, and uh, might see a few thunderstorms producing some strong outflow winds. However, uh, those winds might be about 35 to 40 miles an hour, maybe even a little bit of small hail, but uh, nothing, uh, again, nothing severe. So let's go ahead and take a look at uh, some of the temperatures for today. Our highs, uh, again, in the 70s, uh, very similar to yesterday. A uh, fairly good day today. Um, we get into uh, Tuesday and Wednesday, a little bit cooler temperatures back down in the 60s uh, but uh, don't worry we're going to see those 70 degree temperatures come back again over the weekend uh, this again is a forecast temperature for Wednesday uh, so really uh, to wrap things up really not too much uh, to be concerned with here over the next uh, several days maybe a few uh, showers thunderstorms but uh, nothing really significant going on uh, if you have any questions uh, give us a call there uh, if you want to get a more detailed forecast, go to weather.gov slash Pocatello and click on the map there. It'll give you the uh, seven-day forecast for you. Thanks for listening.